nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, are you ready? Focus. But before I explain the setup and what we need, just a huge congratulations to Connor in grade 7 for running 10Ks yesterday and raising money for a good cause. For those that don't know yet, um, we have started an initiative which would love you guys to jump on board and get involved with your family. Um, it is called the Run for a Reason Lockdown Challenge. Please refer to the Facebook, uh, the Raylan Facebook uh, page for more information and detail around it. We would love you guys to jump on board. We want to challenge other schools. We want to challenge the community. Uh, we want to try and accumulate as many kilometers as we can, running or walking uh, around our homes, on the treadmill, wherever the case is, to, to keep active, to motivate each other, to support each other while doing that for a good cause. There are a lot of people that have suffered uh, because of the lockdown and um, this is one way that we can give back to the community. So boys and girls, I really do challenge you to, to get on board and um, yes, Connor has been the example yesterday and I want to see more of us getting involved in this initiative. Then there's also birthdays, birthday shout outs uh, to some of our boys and girls from grades 4 to 7 that I would like to just wish, okay? Uh, the 5th of April we had Violet, uh, the 7th of April we had Devon, the 12th of April we had Isabella F and Isabella M, the 13th of April, which was yesterday, we had in 20, and then birthdays to come, the 15th of April we're going to have Alexander, on the 18th is going to be Luke, Lars and Zachary, and then on the 22nd we are going to have Gemma, I would just like to wish you guys that have had those birthdays a happy birthday and those that are going to have a birthday make the most of it in this lockdown in this month. Alright, boys and girls, let's have a look at the setup here that Coach K has got for you. You're going to need some markers. Okay, and as I said, we can, we can use anything really around the house just to mark off these sections. We are also going to need, as I told you yesterday, a tennis racket. Now you can see I'm using a pink one. This is my daughter's tennis racket, Mackenzie. Uh, she said I could use it for today. A tennis ball. If you do not have a tennis bat or tennis racket, you can use um, any form of a, a bat actually. Okay, some of those beach bats. Possibly if you've got those. Um, you can bring them out to plastic, but it doesn't need to be a tennis racket. It's just something that you can hold to hit a ball against the wall. All right, as you'll see, the wall has a A4 piece of colored paper, okay, which you guys can also sort out, just so that you've got a target, all right, because we're going to need that as well for the exercises that we're going to do that is uh, sports skills related. Boys and girls, if you do not have a tennis racket, okay, I've made another plan for you. Um, you can take a hard cover, a hard cover book, all right, and um, we can use this by holding it to use it as a tennis bat, okay, or a bat of some of some sort. It will still work the same, okay. But I will tell you a little bit more about this later. Let's get started with the warm up, all right. And what I want you to do for the warm-up is we're going to use our markers. We're going to use the tennis ball, all right, that we've got. We are going to run a couple of shuttles. And when I say a couple of shuttles, we're actually talking about three sets, okay? And I'm going to explain how I want you to do this. And in between each set, we will do a stretch, all right? So I want you to start um, by placing those markers, okay? One, two, two steps away from each other, all right? You place your first marker, one, two, another marker, so that would be marker two, okay? From the starting point, we've got one, two, three markers, and then one, 
two is the fourth marker. So you can see four markers out, starting point, marker one, marker two, marker three. Right, so when we start your marker one, all I want us to do is to run with the tennis ball, okay, to the side of the cone, place the tennis ball on top of the cone or next to the marker, whatever you're going to use, and then to run backwards, back to where you started. Then you go fetch the tennis ball, you pick it up, back to where you started going backwards, and then you will make your way to the second cone, place the ball down, backwards to the start, then we go collect the tennis ball, pick it up, backwards to the start, and then we go place it on the last cone in front of us, and backwards to the start, and then we go collect that tennis ball, and backwards to the start. So you can see all movements going forward. It's obviously running, running motion, and then coming back backwards to the start. All right, and replacing the tennis ball down at the beacon in front of us, and then going back to the start and having to collect the tennis ball back to the start before we then put it on the next cone. All right, so we're going to work the shuttle system. All right. We're going to have three sets of it, okay, with a um, with a with a, uh, a quad. Well, quad. We're going to work everything. Actually, it's going to be a squat stretch in between, okay, boys and girls. So let's get to the start, which is over here. Everybody needs to do this, okay. Make sure that your body is nice and loose and warm for what's to come in our session. Right. So here we go. First curve. Place the ball down. Back to the start. Go fetch that tennis ball. Backwards to the start. Right, second cone. Place the ball down. Backwards to the start. Go fetch that tennis ball. Backwards to the start. Last cone. Place it down. Backwards to the start. Go fetch that tennis ball. Backwards to the start. And well done. Right, from there, I'm going to uh, squat stretch. Alright, so we can get nice and loose. We're going to do 10 of these. So. Hold your hands out in front of you, get your feet uh, wide and shoulder, uh, shoulder width apart, and we drop into that sitting position. One, okay, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right. We should still feel that, okay? Um, the legs should be nice and stiff from yesterday's biometric session, so that's a very good stretch for us for now. Okay, we're gonna go back to the start, second set. Right, here we go. Place the ball down, backwards. Go fetch that ball, backwards. Second pose. Place the ball, backwards. Go fetch that ball, backwards. Last pose. Place that ball. Backwards, go fetch that ball, and backwards. Right, well done. Back into our squats, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine and ten. Right, last time. Last set. Here we go. Down, backwards. Go fetch that ball. Backwards. Second cone. Place backwards. Go fetch that ball. Backwards. Last cone. Place backwards. Go fetch that ball. And backwards. Excellent. All right, well done. That should get the legs going. All right, back into the uh, into those squats. Here we go. One and two and three and four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Up we get. All right, so boys and girls, that's the first exercise in the warm-ups. Because we're going to be using our legs a lot just now, 
When we have to move and hit the ball, we're also going to be using our upper body. Okay, so we also need to consider that, and we need to also try and loosen up the upper body. So what I'm going to ask for the second exercise for our warm-ups is to do push-ups. Okay, now the push-ups, and I'm just going to place this ball back here for now. The push-ups can be done as in normal push-ups, okay? Like that, or otherwise, because it's only a warm-up, we can also do the lady push-ups where we, on our knees, we can cross our feet over, and from that position, we can also, we can also drop, okay? And do it from there. So, I think um, most of us will probably choose that last one, being a warm-up, because what we're really wanting to do is get movement going, and warm up the upper body as much as we can, so we can also do some stretches. So, uh, if you've got a gym mat, bring it out, okay? And if you haven't, uh, and you're doing those lady push-ups, we can always just uh, put our knees down on a pillow, okay? Right, so, Coach K is going to do, or show you quickly those lady push-ups again, so the feet cross, knees settle, arms out in front of you, Hands just uh, wider than shoulder width apart. And we're going to drop one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right, so those are the lady push ups. I'm going to do uh, proper push-ups now for those that actually wanted to do proper push-ups. In my second set, I'll do that. We are going to now stretch the rotator cuff muscles. So what I want you to do, and you can do it on your knees, it's fine, okay? I want you to take your arm and make sure that your elbow, because okay, we're lifting our arm, our elbow is in line with our shoulder, okay? You keep your hand above that, all right, as it is. And all we're going to do is we are going to make a fist, we're going to drop that fist, all right, knife the elbow forward, and then back as far as we can. Okay, so that elbow stays in line with the shoulder all the time, and the only movement we're making is going to be dropping that fist forward, and lifting, and going as far as we can backwards. That's as far as I can go. If I turn to the side, You'll see, right, rotating, and that's as far as Coach K can go, okay. So, this would be one, all right, so there and back is one, there and back is two. We're going to do five on the right side, we're going to do five on the left side to complete one set, and we're going to do three sets, okay, but in between the push-ups, all right. So, we finished the first set of push-ups, let's do the first set of the rotator cuff stretch. All right, so here we go. Okay, and maybe what I'll do is I'll just turn to the side over here, maybe a better angle for you guys to see. All right, so elbow down the shoulder, here we go. Right arm to start off with, make your fist and drop. One, two, three, four, five. Change the other side, all right. One, two, three, four, five. All right, very, very good. Right, back into those push-ups. Okay, and as I said, I'll do the proper ones now. Okay, those who want to carry on the, the lady push-ups, lady push it's fine. Continue with those, it's okay. It's all part of the warm-up. Right, so yeah, second set. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, and up. Back into those rotator cuff muscle stretches. So, right arm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Change the other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
nine, and ten. All right, so we're struggling here, Coach K struggles with the left. We will, again, we will also experience the same thing. That one side will be a little more difficult, more challenging than the other side. Right, let's go to those push-ups again. Okay, last set of the push-ups. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And up we get. Right, into those rotator cuffs. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Right, other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Right. Very good. Okay, we can take away the mat. And uh, what I want you to do now is I want you to go get your tennis racket. Or well, as I said, if we don't have a tennis racket, we can use a hardcover book. All right? So, if you haven't got that, press pause. Go fetch that quickly. All right, because we're going to be working with that now. Right, so, I think the other thing that I can do at this stage is maybe remove these cones because I will not need these cones anymore in the drills. So they can rest there. As I said, remember, hardcover book. All right, so you've got that. I'm going to show you how that works as well. I'm going to put this over here for now. All right, all I want you to do, okay, is I want us to tap the ball on the bat. But what we're going to be doing is we're going to be using this to also warm up our forearm and back arm uh, or backhand. All right, so I want us to work our um, forearms, okay, as you can see I'm doing now, by bringing the racket into play. So how are we going to do that? We're going to bounce the ball on the racket, turning it from side to side. All right, can you see that? Okay, so I turn the racket around and I make the taps. Okay, we're going to need to do that on both sides. All right, so my right hand is far better than my left hand when it comes to coordination because I am right-handed. So we all have the same problems, I'm sure. It will be a lot more challenging trying to do it with the left hand, as you can see. Whoa, okay, Coach Fed is going to have to go fetch his tennis ball. Okay, which just ended up in the kitchen, can you believe it, all right? So the left hand's gonna be a lot more challenging, okay? And maybe what we can do is uh, we, can, we can kind of help control, okay, with the right hand, okay, when we are using that left hand. Okay, I'm gonna show you how that's done this now. Let's first work the right hand. All I need, okay, is 10 taps. Right, so one, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, and ten. Right, let's go. Left hand as best we can. Can support with the other. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right. As you can see, okay, the movements were there. What I want you to do is just to drop that bat and ball and go into a stretch. So all you're going to do is extend the arm, okay, and then at the hand. All right. So right arm we're going to start with. We are going to pull down at the fingers. So we can feel the stretch going into that forearm. Right, and we're gonna hold there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Change other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's pick up that bracket. Let's continue. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Left hand. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. You can see our support with the right hand. Back to our stretch. Okay, arm extending in front of us. Down at the fingertips. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Change other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, 
seven, eight, nine, ten. Last time. Okay, wrap it in hand for the ball. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay, left hand. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Excellent. All right. Let's not forget uh, that stretch right at the end again. All right, so holding down into the forearm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Change last time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right, excellent. Boys and girls, should be nice and loose now. Okay, so what I want us to do is. Uh, We've got that target on the wall, okay? So I've used some press stick, uh, press stick, sellotape. Remember, these types of exercises, we always wanna make sure it is outside, okay? Uh, as I've told you before, I use the inside just for better quality purposes, but you guys need to take this outside. So you could have a garage door with, a, with, with paving, uh, you could have paving out in the backyard, up against the wall, all right? This is what we need to try and uh, sort out for ourselves, okay? So that we create uh, this, the same type of environment outside. So we've got this target on the wall, and I want you to set the target up just above the shoulder, right? Okay, so you can see there, if I stand up against the wall, so just above my shoulder, I place that, okay? It's actually my shoulder's more or less in the middle, but somewhere around there will be perfectly fine for what we want to achieve here. All right, so the first exercise is easy, okay? All I want you to do is, from the wall, from that target, to take one, two, three steps. Three big steps away from your target, and all we're gonna do is we're gonna drop the ball and then hit it softly, trying to hit the ball onto the target, okay? We're gonna do this 10 times, okay? 10 times to complete one set, three sets in total. And let's try and tally up how many we can actually hit onto the target to see out of the three sets, what's the highest we can score. Okay, so there's a bit of a challenge involved here as well. All right, so Coach K is gonna take us away. Here we go, you guys are ready as well. If you wanna have a look first, Coach K will just show you quickly in a demo, so this doesn't count yet. Right, so just drop the ball, hit it. Okay, nowhere near that target. Okay, and obviously catch. Right, so drop, hit, yes, there we go, there's my target, and catch. Drop, hit, yep, on the target, and catch. All right, so that was three. Okay, we're gonna do 10 of those, starting now. All right, so you ready? You got your ball, you got your racket, ready with Coach K, and let's begin. Right, one, okay, one out of one. Whoa, one out of two. Yes, two out of three. Right, three out of four. All right, four out of five. Uh, four out of six. Four out of seven. Five out of eight. Five out of nine. Aye, and five out of ten. So Coach Bates first attempt, five out of ten. It's 50%. I want to try and make sure that I improve my second and third set. So as you can see, it's not the easiest, okay? All right, they're gentle little taps, but we are having to try and control these gentle little taps by making sure we're hitting the target, okay? So this is the whole skill involved here with the hand and eye coordination in trying to reach our, our target, okay? So boys and girls, here's my second go at it. It's gonna be your second go as well, here we go. All right, all right, north out of one. Oh, north out of two. Oh my goodness, no, it's out of three. No, it's out of four. This is not a good round for Coach K. Right, one out of five. One out of six. Yes, two out of seven. Three out of seven. Oh no, three out of eight. Three out of nine. Oh, okay, just touched it there, so four out of ten. Oopsie, okay, in trying to make the improvements, we didn't, okay, we've actually come one under. That's Coach K. Hopefully you guys are doing better. Okay, I think Coach K needs more practice on this. Okay, so last set, okay, 
We're going to really try and better whatever score we have out of the first two sets. Remember, mine is 5 out of 10. Hopefully, yours is a little bit closer to 7 and 8, especially the tennis players. Okay? So, let's try and attempt now to get our best out of the third set. Here we go. Right, 1 out of 1 for Coach K. 1 out of 2. 1 out of 3. 1 out of 4. 2 out of 5. 2 out of 6. 3 out of 7. 4 out of 8. Oh my goodness, 4 out of 9. And 5 out of 10. Oh, that's all I was good for. 50%, 5 out of 10. Coach Kerr needs more work on this. Alright. This will take us now to the second exercise, okay, which is a little bit more advanced. Okay, so as you can see, there's going to be this progress. We are going to work forehand and then get into position to go backhand. Okay, so you're going to make two hits here, alright, and we are going to do this five times, alright, so it's forehand, okay, moving to position, backhand, okay, catch the ball, that's one. Then return back into position immediately for two. We can do five of those. That completes one set. Okay? And we've got to do that three times. All right. So, forehand, backhand, trying to hit the targets. Okay? My challenge to you in this one is, out of all the attempts that we have in sets one, two, and three, I want to see if any of you guys can hit that target with the forehand and the backhand, okay? Forehand and backhand, I want to see if you guys can do that, okay? Because that, that, that's pretty tough. Right, so let me just show you quickly, it'll be something like this. We drop the ball, forehand, oopsie, backhand. Not only one from Coach Fed, he's going to have to show you again. Remember, you hit it too hard, it's going to bounce right back out at you, and it's going to bounce in front of your feet. You want to make sure that it bounces in front of you, giving you enough time to play your next shot. So watch again, okay? You might want to play around it a little bit just to get the feel of it before you go into the actual exercise. So it's backhand, oh sorry, forehand, backhand. Alright, so watch again. Forehand, backhand. Okay. Forehand, backhand. Okay, good. Alright, so let's do this together starting now. Alright, remember, forehand, backhand, catch. That's one. Then you do it again, you do it five times. Five times, take a water break. Okay, then we come back and we do another two sets. Exactly the same. Right, work with me, I'll guide you. Here we go. One, two, whoopsie. Okay, so that's one. One, two, whoopsie, that's terrible. Right, that's two, here we go again. One, two, okay, a little bit better. That's three, one, two, okay, that's four, one, two, oh, all right, and that's five, so take a breather there. Guys, what I'm going to do for those that don't have the tennis track, I'll show you how the book works as well. So, my second set, I'm going to do with the book, all right, um, just to show you guys that this can also work, all right, so have your water break. And then um, just get back onto your mark with your ball and your racket or your bat. And then we go to the, to the second set. Here we go. Are you guys ready? Okay. So work like this with the book, guys. Those that have the racket, continue with the racket. Second set. Remember, five times. Okay. Here we go. One, two, catch. That's one. One, two, okay. That's two. One, Whoops, that easy. That's three. Alright, there we go. One, two. That's four. And one, two. Boy, very close to the book. Okay, and that's five. Alright, so some might actually feel that it's easier with a hardcover book. I certainly do. Okay, a lot of spring here in Mackenzie's racket. And that's going to be another one of my excuses, that it's Mackenzie's racket, and that's why I'm not performing too well with it. Alright, um, so let's do our third and final set 
on the forehand back end. Right, here we go. One, two, whoops, see that one went quite wide. That's one, one, two, whoa. All right, one, two, whoops, see that is easy. That is three, okay, here we try again. One, two, okay, that's four. One, two, whoops. Okay, and five, okay. Not so good from Coach K, right? Not so good. So Coach K needs some more work on his tennis skills. Okay, hopefully as I said, you guys are having a lot more fun, okay? And uh, hit that target, okay, at least in uh, one of your attempts with the uh, forehand and backhand. Okay, I did not, all right. Guys, the third exercise, okay, is going to be the hardest one, all right? So we're gonna need to try and keep a rally going with the wall, okay? Aiming at the target. I want to see if you, and it's obviously forehand, backhand, whatever position you can get into to make sure that you keep ready. I want you to keep it up, all right? Up to 10, okay? So we're gonna do it again three sets. We're gonna try for 10. Boys and girls, if you do hit wide and you need to go fetch your ball, just go fetch it quickly and uh, just continue, okay? Continue even if you don't make the 10. Just continue with Coach K. If you guys want to come back to this after the video, uh, work on it a little bit more, uh, I really encourage that as well. I think that'll be, uh, that'll be good stuff for, for your skills, guys. So let's just try and work with me, all right, as best we can. Okay, well, let me try and see if I can work with myself. It hasn't been a, it hasn't been a good um, skills day for, for Coach K. Right, so here we go, are we ready? Okay, so it's gonna look something like this. Don't start, don't start yet. It's gonna look something like this. Right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Right, guys, you got it. All right, so that will complete one set. And we're going to do three of those. All right, we're going to try and keep it going. Okay, are you ready? All right, here we go. This counts. One, two, Three, show that control. Four, five, gentle touches. Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right. I think I'm starting to get to feel, um, starting to get my feel on the hit. Okay. I hit that target um, more than I've actually hit it uh, in the previous exercises, which are easier than this. Okay. So that completes the first set. All right. Take a break, take a little bit of a drink if you want, okay, and get back onto your mark for set number two. Here's set number two. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay. All right. Take a breather there, take a sip of water. Hopefully you guys are having fun. Okay, hopefully there's not too many loose balls all over the place and that you are able to keep the rally going up to 10 as well. All right, so for the last one, also 10, okay? Um, you know what, boys and girls, this is such an awesome little exercise to do to see as many as you can actually knock up against the wall, okay? Um, so I challenge you guys after this video to go back and to try this and see how many you can actually hit up against the wall um, I, and keep working on it, okay? Because uh, this can be a lot of fun, okay? And it can um, most definitely bring some value to your time. All right, so here we go. All right, last set. One, two, whoopsie, three. Going way with you. Okay, so there we go. I've messed up. That's three. I'm going to carry on going. Four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Right. Very, very cool. All right. I almost want to keep going. <laughs> so please do. If you feel the same way, please do. After this video, let's do our cool down together. After this video, go back to the wall and keep playing. All right. And keep challenging yourself, as I said. See how many you can actually knock up against the wall. Um, and yeah. Uh, we can have a look and see, maybe when we all get back to school, video it. You can come show Coach K and see whether you guys could get up to, or what would be a good, a good number, 20, 30, 40 even, all right? Yeah, so we put that challenge out there. Right, then, 
Uh, for the cool down, all right, all I'm going to ask is, I'm going to ask us to go into a shoulder stretch where we are going to put our right hand behind our back there, okay, as you can see, and then just to take the elbow, okay, and to bring it in towards the front of your body, okay, so to pull towards you, you should feel a nice stretch going into the rotator cuff muscles there, all right, so we hold there, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Right, we go to the other side, exactly the same. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay, that's first set. Second set, back to the right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay, let's return to the other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right, last time on the right and last time on the left. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Last time, change round. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Right, cool. All right, release that, and I want us now to go back to the wall that we've got, and we are going to do a chest stretch where we're going to hold up against the wall with our, for example, right hand, and then lean into the wall, okay, and stretch that part of your chest, okay. So watch Coach K quickly, he's up against the wall, okay, with his right hand, Okay, he rests that right hand and that elbow up against the wall and then all he does is he turns his body into the wall with his head on the opposite side and goes into a good stretch into that chest, okay? So it'll look something like this, facing the wall, all right? And then we're just pressing into the wall. Okay, get a good stretch into your chest. All right, here we go, guys. All right, and one, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, only ten. Right, other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Change again. Second set. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Change other side. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right, last time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Last time on the left hand side. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right, and release. Okay. So, boys and girls. For the last stretch in our cool down, please go and get your yoga mats again if you've got. If you don't, don't stress, not a worry. You can always, again, as I said, use a pillow to support your knees, okay, on a hard surface, okay? Then all I want us to do is, this is called the, uh, child, the child yoga pose, okay? So onto our knees, all right, like that. And then I want you to drop your bottom back onto the heels, okay, of your feet, okay, as you can see there like I've done, so it's almost like I'm sitting back here on my heel, and then from there, we are going to lean forward with our arms, okay, as best we can, all right, and hold that position, okay, so we tuck our bottom in towards our heels, arms out in front of us, head down, tucked down, Okay, below the arms, and we're gonna count to ten. Right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Right, up we get to take a bit of a breather. Okay, and then we return back into that position. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right, back into position. And last time, 
Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right, very good. You should feel that into the shoulders and the lower back. Okay, all right, really good stretch overall. Boys and girls, that concludes today's sports skills uh, session. Okay, tomorrow is agility and speed again, so look forward to working with you and I hope you've had as much fun as I've had okay and um, maybe you also realize that uh, we've got to go back to these types of basics and we've got to work a little harder on them all right just to keep the skills going all right so boys and girls that's all from me for today thank you all right see you again tomorrow <laughs>